Yeah, let's get into it because I got I got a lot to say because I got a lot to say. So go ahead because you know, it, I know especially it's one fight that hopefully it comes up that I definitely gotta you know sit down and talk to the fans about. Talk to me, talk to me. Th that Lubin and Ramos. Yo, yo, facts. That's your <laughs> boy. But in reality, um, speak what you got to say because I already spoke, man. I already did three podcasts and I spoke what I had to uh, say. Okay, okay. So I watched the fight. I killed Vegas yesterday. I put my bet in. I had Barrios, Lubin, Canelo. Oh, you killed your shit. Yeah, I had, that was my first bet. But I'm watching the fight. And I'm like, fuck. Why everybody got Erickson losing, Lubin losing? Some people had, um, a lot of people, people were texting me, yo, Lubin is losing. You need to pick it up, pick it up. I'm watching the fight. And I'm just like, I'm not seeing what the commentators are seeing, what yep. Ramos Corner is seeing. I'm not seeing that. I'm on the phone. I'm FaceTiming Javante in and out the on on in the, in the, uh, during the fight. He's like, "Don't listen to him. He's winning the fight. Trust me. This is unofficial scorecard. He's winning." I'm like, "Okay." So I cashed out the ticket. I just told you that I bet. I cashed out, but now when I kept now when I when I bet back again, the odds is even more against Erickson. So I was it was and so now I'm killing him. So now I put the bet on Erickson, and I put a bet on Canelo. But then, like I said, the odds on Erickson is so bad. Where I even, well, I could put like $25 on Erickson and, and Charlo or Erickson and Canelo, and I'm still going to win some money because Erickson, I, I was just so bad by the 10th round. It was like Vegas had him. There's no way he's winning this fight. But I'm watching the fight, and I'm like, how is a guy, Ramos, win, it, win a fight? This guy, Erickson, didn't get hit with nothing. Ramos is not a, a jabber, right? Let's talk about it. He's he not got a jabber. Jab. He got out he's not a, out He's not a jabber. He didn't, he didn't land no – you can't say, oh, he was, his jab was effective. That, we took that away. He was looking for the straight left. I didn't see Erickson Lumen get hit. Maybe maybe one straight left in that 12 round. I didn't see Erickson get hit with no effective power punch. Not a straight left, not a hook. He got on the, the inside and beat the shit out of Erickson hips. He didn't, there wasn't even body shots. He wasn't getting clean liver shots, clean shots. It was all hips and shit like that. Yeah, maybe he had a moment where he got that uppercut through in one round, whatever. But I'm looking at the fight. Erickson controlled the whole fight from round one to round 12. The, the guy had moments – Maybe a little bit moments, but Ramos did not land no effective power punches, hooks, or that. And if his corner really thought that he won that fight, he need to reevaluate what was in his corner because that kid did not win that fight. That kid, and if they fight again, it's gonna be the same thing. He, you, you, I watched it. He couldn't make no adjustments, and he really thought him in his corner really thought he was in uh, control. And I'm in my head like Erickson's winning this fight. One seventeen, one eleven, one sixteen, one twelve. The most. That's the one fifteen, one thirteen was crazy. Erickson did not only win seven rounds. It was crazy because. If I was in that ring and I was in Eric and I was Erickson Lubin, I'd have been chilling. Like I'm winning this fight. Only I'm losing this fight if I get robbed. But it is what it is, though. The boxing fans don't know shit. They don't know shit. I, I knew Erickson was winning the, the moment I heard them booing in the arena. I said he winning this whole shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Like especially uh, Ramos let off the second half of the fight. Like, and I think I felt like it was the corner's fault for letting them know that he won the first. Yeah, he's up six rounds. Yeah, yeah. Ramos yep. did say, "Should I pressure? Should I pressure?" And that's really all Ramos was doing was pressuring, but he wasn't landing punches. He wasn't getting yeah, active. Yeah. He put his hands up and and came forward. He definitely did that. He put his hands up and walked forward. But when he got, to, he didn't do shit. Fact. He didn't land shit. I think that I think Erickson took. That's probably one of the less fights Erickson Lupin probably took punishment in. And and and, and in the space, it was clean. Yeah, it was. It, he didn't take no punishment at all. So I just. I just don't know how the boxing fans really th is calling this a robbery or or this and that. Like, watch the fight, quiet out the noise, and know what you're watching. Period. A hundred percent. But then you also had Cunningham saying that you were down in the fight. Uh, what's your thoughts on that? Yeah, I, so I spoke to Erickson earlier actually this morning. I, I thought that I was like, people was thinking he lost the fight. I was watching. I, I know he wasn't um um losing the fight. Tank didn't think he was losing the fight. And even Shakur in live action didn't think he was losing the fight. And I had some other few people that I thought he was winning the fight. But when you watch these fights, and then the commentators, they look like they was paid to fucking have this motherfucker uh, coming out party. Because there's no way Al Bernstein been doing this for years. Steve Ford been doing this for years. And some of these guys sweeping through the rounds. Like, it's no way. Like, I, I haven't been in this game because these guys are very old uh, veterans in these games. I haven't been in the game as long as them, but there's no way you're going to tell me that Erickson lost every single round or damn near every single round up to, like, round 9 or 10. There's no way. 
how? Like, this is this shit is disgusting for the sport. Like, yesterday was fucked up. They try to ride Erickson Lubin out, and and they try to basically build this guy, put him on a Canelo on the car. He's Mexican. Canelo's Mexican. Let's build a star. But come on, you can't cheat motherfuckers out of their dream or their hard work. Like, Erickson Lubin won the fight, period. And can't nobody change my mind on that. Yo, a hundred percent. Yeah, and I'm glad that you, you, you know, we're chopping it up and, and talking about that because I, everything that you just said is like already what I put on Twitter and everything. And I'm just like, yo, like I, I could, I could uh, expect, you know, Abner Mares trying to ride for his Mexican guy, but all the guys that you just mentioned and the platform itself talking about, like, yo, he got an early birthday gift. Like this shit is crazy, bro. Yeah, I just feel like it was. Fu- I feel like it was fucked up, and if if, if the night would have went wrong, and and um, Eric would have been on a bad side of the decision, it would have been fucked up, and people would have overlooked it because as in day, it is Ramos, the the, the um, the the um, the commentators and the unofficial scorecard manipulated a lot of fans. You know what I'm saying? The the mm-hmm. arena was already there for that was uh, Ramos coming out part. He's Mexican, like I said, Canelo's oh. Mexican, so it, of course, like everything seemed like. It was in his favor, but the right decision was made. If Ramos feel like he can beat Erickson, he should beat Erickson. They need to go back, talk to Al, try to get Erickson in the rematch, and I'll bet Vegas extra. I'll bet Ramos and his team extra that he's still going to lose. Stylistically, he's not on Erickson a little bit, and now he, he's really going to get fucked up the second time because now Erickson knows he's better than him. It was, you know, Erickson had respect for him. That's why he really ain't fucking up when he stuck to a game plan. Because I don't know how that go. I'm going to fight the same shit with me and Zepeda. I have respect for Zepeda. So I stuck to a game plan just to get the win. But Ramos stepping the ring again with Erickson, he's going to get fucked up more. Because now Erickson know this kid can't, what the fuck he going to do? Put his hands up and just throw more punches next time? He got to land punches. He ain't do that this first fight. Uh-huh. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. And, you know, um, I like that Cunningham, you know, was was talking about like, yo, man, come eat, eat. The speed level, the instincts, they're just not there for this dude, uh, you know, Jesu Ramos. So they, you definitely seen, um, you know, Erickson Rubin working on his own pace. And uh, I I agree with you. I think if they had to run it back, I think it would be bad for Jesu Ramos. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I think it would get worse. Sir. I think yeah. so. I think it will get worse, sir. We don't know. We we, we don't know though anything that happened in sport of boxing. Was it competitive? Uh you know what I'm saying? Uh yeah, uh, but did he was it was it compared to where it's like I mean it was good work. It was one of them type of days. You know where you got in the gym, it's good work, but I, I'm the better fighter.